Can exercise increase sexual pleasure in women? What is the truth about orgasm through clitoral stimulation? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Regular exercise can increase sexual pleasure in women by improving blood circulation, increasing endurance, and releasing endorphins, chemicals that can enhance mood and sexual response. Clitoral stimulation is a common way for many women to achieve orgasm. It is a highly erogenous part of the female body and can be essential for experiencing sexual pleasure and orgasm. Effects on sexual performance. Some studies suggest that excessive pornography consumption may be related to erectile dysfunction and hypoactive sexual desire in some men. Erectile dysfunction and alcohol. Consumption. Long-term excessive alcohol consumption can damage nerves and blood vessels, which can contribute to erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction and couples. Therapy. Erectile dysfunction can have a significant impact on a couple's relationship. Couples therapy can help address communication issues and improve sexual intimacy between partners. Erectile dysfunction and lifestyle changes. Adopting a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, reducing alcohol consumption, and quitting smoking can help improve erectile function in some cases. Erectile dysfunction and mental health. Erectile dysfunction can significantly affect a man's mental health, causing anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem. It is important to address both the physical and psychological aspects of erectile dysfunction for a comprehensive solution. Ethics and responsibility. Open relationships require a high level of responsibility and ethics. Couples must be respectful of each other's feelings and boundaries and address any conflicts or issues openly and honestly. Experimentation with temperatures. Some women find experimenting with different temperatures during foreplay exciting, such as using ice or warm cloths to alternate between sensations of cold and heat on the skin. External stimuli. Environmental factors such as lighting, music, and ambience can influence a woman's receptiveness to certain sexual positions and contribute to her overall arousal and enjoyment. Fantasies and role-playing. Foreplay can include the exploration of sexual fantasies and role-playing. These can range from romantic scenarios to more intense and dominant roles, depending on the couple's preferences. Feather fetishism involves sexual attraction to the use of feathers in erotic activities, such as feather tickling, gentle caresses, or erotic tickling. Fetish community. There is an active fetish community online and offline, where individuals with similar interests can connect, share experiences, and explore their fantasies safely and consensually. These communities often organize events, parties, and conventions dedicated to fetishes. Genetic factors. Some studies suggest that premature ejaculation may have a genetic component, meaning that certain individuals may have a hereditary predisposition to experience this issue. Glove fetishism involves sexual attraction to the use of gloves, whether latex, leather, or other material, which may be related to texture, shine, or association with certain roles or erotic activities. Health benefits. Foreplay not only increases sexual arousal, but can also have physical and emotional health benefits for women, such as stress reduction, mood improvement, and strengthening emotional bonds with the partner. Height fetishism. This fetish involves sexual attraction to people of certain heights, either a attraction to very tall people, giantophilia, or people of short stature, microphilia. Hormone release. During masturbation, a woman's body releases a series of hormones, including endorphins, dopamine, and oxytocin, which can improve mood and provide a sense of well-being. Impact on mental health. Individuals diagnosed with STDs may experience emotional stress, anxiety, depression, and feelings of shame or guilt. 
highlighting the importance of psychological support in managing these diseases. Impact on sexuality. Pornography can have an impact on people's perception of sexuality, influencing their preferences, fantasies, and sexual expectations. Importance of consent. Like in any sexual activity, it's essential that masturbation be consensual and conducted in a safe and respectful manner. Everyone has the right to explore their sexuality freely and without coercion. Importance of safe sex. Safe sex is crucial for preventing sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies. The use of condoms and other contraceptive methods is key to healthy sexuality. Increasing popularity. Open relationships are gaining popularity in modern society, with more people opting for this type of dynamic instead of traditional monogamous relationships. Influence in modern literature. The Kama Sutra has influenced modern literature, with authors incorporating its ideas and concepts into novels and essays about sexuality and human relationships. Inspiration in contemporary art. Contemporary artists have found inspiration in the Kama Sutra to create artworks that explore themes of sexuality, gender, identity, and human pleasure, reflecting its ongoing relevance in contemporary art. In Japan, sexual education focuses on preventing sexual harassment and online exploitation, with an emphasis on mutual respect and privacy protection in the digital world. Latex and leather clothing fetishism. Latex and leather clothing fetishism involve sexual attraction towards tight and shiny garments, such as latex suits or leather jackets. These garments may symbolize power, dominance, or simply be aesthetically appealing to those with this fetish. In rural communities in Latin America, sexual education workshops may be conducted by health promoters and community leaders, addressing topics such as family planning, disease prevention, and communication in relationships. Masturbation and emotional well-being. Masturbation can help women feel more confident, better understand their bodies, and develop a more positive relationship with their sexuality, contributing to emotional well-being. Masturbation and sexual rights. Masturbation is a basic sexual right recognized by health and human rights organizations, promoting sexual autonomy and respect for individuals' privacy. Medical fetishism. Medical fetishism involves sexual attraction to medical scenarios, uniforms, or instruments. This can include role-playing where one person assumes the role of doctor or patient, exploring the sensuality and vulnerability associated with medical care. Medications and side effects. Some prescribed medications, such as antidepressants, antipsychotics, and medications for high blood pressure, can have side effects that include erectile dysfunction. Modern interpretations. Over time, the Kama Sutra has been subject to modern reinterpretations and adaptations that have made it more accessible and relevant to contemporary audiences, demonstrating its ability to evolve with the times. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.